Manila. Good morning, Philippines. This is One Station, One Nation. We are about to give you some hot news this morning. For the headlines, the Metro Manila Development Authority seeks to revive the school street in Manila. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle show support for military and intrepid ceremony. Philippine cyber crime law takes effect and protest. June Mar Pajardo accepts the most valuable player award in PBA. Mr. Beast became the top one trending on YouTube. Typhoon Yato no longer expected to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. Good morning, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. The Metro Manila Development Authority wants to revive the once known central business district of the nation's capital, Escolta Street. Here is Angel Mendoza for the news. With Escolta being one of the five terminals of the newly revived passenger River Ferry System, MMDA Chairman Francis Tolentino also proposed the creation of Escolta Redevelopment Administration to revive business and tourism in the area. Tolentino says this is aimed at remembering the street not only for its historic contribution but also as part of the country's economic progress. This is Angel Mendoza reporting for One Station, One Nation. Back to studio. Prince Harry in his dashing tuxedo, together with his wife Meghan, wearing a red spectacular dress, appears at the ceremony on the board of USS Intrepid. Here's Ermel Kupus for the report. Prince Harry wore his medals instead of his uniform, for the reason that he is no longer allowed to wear his military uniforms since stepping back from his royal duties. At the ceremony, he shared his thoughts about his participation in the military. He said that all the lessons and activities that he experienced made him who he is today. And nothing was more valuable to him than the time he got to spend with his soldier. He also pays a tribute to those who serve. Ermel Jan Corpus, reporting for One Station, one Nation. Back to studio. Thank you, Ermel. We will be right back. Anong nararamdaman mo kapag nakakaranas ka ng pambubu? Sobrang sakit. Yung halos gusto mo nang matapos lahat ng to pero hindi mo alam kung paano. Yung mga pangungutya, yung mga pangaape, mga masasakit na sinasabi nila. Lagi, araw-araw, tumatatak yun lagi sa isip ko. Lunod na lunod na ako. Hindi na ko na alam kung paano makaahon. Yung mga nararamdaman kong sakit, hindi ko na talaga alam kung paano ko siya ma makakaya pa. Pero wala eh. Hindi nila maintindihan kung ano yung nararamdaman ko. Basta gusto lang nila, Makaramdam sila ng satisfaction. Yung satisfaction na halos araw-araw pinaparanas nila sa akin. A controversial law targeting cyber crime in the Philippines has come to effect, fueling protests by citizens and media groups, fearing censorship. Here is Isabel Macalindong for the news. The new law, called the Cybercrime Prevention Act of 2012, was signed by the President on 12 of September. It is intended to prevent cyber sex, online child pornography, identity theft, and spamming. At least eight petitions from various groups challenging its constitutionality have been filed with the highest court in the Philippines. In the end, the act took effect despite the protest by those who opposed the law. This is Marie Isabel B. Makalindong reporting for One Station, One Nation. Back to the studio. Jun Mark Fajardo, a.k.a. The Kraken, received his sixth Most Valuable Player Award for the fourth season of PBA. Jun Mark Fajardo became the first person in the history to win the PBA Most Valuable Awards in six consecutive season in which he won from 2014 to 2019. Here is his message to the Leo Awards. Also for Sports News, it's Mark Aaron Africano, reporting for One Station, One Nation. Back to studio. Have you ever seen a dancing light? That's what they call the Aurora Borealis, also known as the Northern Lights. 
But did you know that it only occurs when the sun's rays emit electrically charged particles or what they call the solar winds? With some of these rays striking the Earth's atmosphere, they cause a magnificent display of dancing lights. The American YouTuber James Stephen Donaldson, better known as Mr. Beast, places top one trending on YouTube because of his remake of the original series, The Squid Game. Here is Margaret Vincentia for the news. Good morning, good morning, good morning, nation! Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Welcome to Celebrity Patro. Mr. B's Squid Game video reaches over 135 million views on YouTube as of the moment. This amazing project comes to reality with the help of director Sam Wickert, VFX artist, and Matthew Beam, who create the giant robot girl. The estimated cost of making Squid Game in real life was around $3.5 million. That's all for Celebrity Patrol. This is Margaret Vicencio reporting for One Station, One Nation. Back to studio. Here's Aaron Austria for weather update. Even though Typhoon Nyato will still remain outside the Philippine area of responsibility, its true or extension could still cause cattle drain and thunderstorm on Thursday and December 2. Typhoon Nyato, which intensified into Typhoon at 2 a.m. on Thursday, December 2, is no longer accepted to enter the Philippine area of responsibility. The rain will generally be light to moderate, but it could become heavy at times. That's the latest weather update from Pagasa, Aaron Austria reporting from One Station, One Nation. Back to studio. And that's all for our news report this morning. I am Alea Lago. And I am Gawain Estrada, your, your online, online network, network educators. educators. And this is One Station, One Nation. Keep safe everyone. Have a nice day.